Hey everybody, it's Don Music here. Yes, here in the flesh, live and well. I've been trying to get video working. We're going to lower the quality a little bit here and see what we get out of this. Doing my best. If this works, we're on. If I play this back and it's all glitchy, I'll wait and try something else another day. This I've been dying to do. I originally watched this song, 23, live at Teatro by The Warning, when I was a Patreon member. It was incredible. It blew my mind. Then I haven't watched it since. I haven't listened to it since. I was going to, but I thought I'd wait because it had such an impact on me then. And that's what I remember is the impact. I want to remember the song. I want to relive this with you. And let's take a deep dive into the song and see what happens here. All right, here we go. The Warning, 23, live 2022. Here we go. I looked at you, same as before What had changed, I do not know But the thought of you were played in secret It hurt me, but I asked for more Falling down your rabbit hole I kept on biting back what I was feeling I closed my eyes Yeah. 
Oh, man. Okay, look, I mean, I've got to be honest. This is my favorite song by The Warning. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, aren't they all? This one might actually be my favorite song by The Warning. The lyrics of this song just kill me. If I let myself focus on the lyrics, I'm going to be sitting here in a puddle of tears. It's so powerful and so good and has so much meaning. But, well, there's a lot to talk about. But let's go back to the beginning and look at the performance and listen to what they're doing. And Okay, let's go to the beginning. I looked at you same as before. What had changed, I do not know. I love this guitar part. No one ever talks about the guitar part. You know, they're always like, power singing. I mean, yeah, okay, I know power singing, and it's absolutely angelic and heavy and amazing. But the guitar part here is so beautiful and interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. So it's a minor seven chord. Hitting one, seven, one, five. I guess there's a minor third in there too, but she's singing the minor third, so she may not even, Danny may not even need to be the, play the minor third. Let's listen again and see if she does. I looked at you same as before. What had changed, I do not. I don't know, she's strumming it, but I'm not sure if she's strumming it and finger muting it so you can't hear the, the third. I mean, it's a minor key, right? But with Pow singing so confidently and so freaking in tune on the drums, um, then, well, you know, behind the kit there, she's hitting the minor third, so vocally, so you don't actually need to play it. Anyway, whatever it is, the dominant plucked, single plucked uh, strings are one, seven, one, five, and then next one, uh, let's find out what the next one is. No. I looked at you same as before. Okay, I said it in the wrong order. Seven, five, one, seven. Okay. What had changed, I do not. Oh. Da, 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 da. So it's just, yeah, it's a flat six major triad. But the thought of you replaced. And uh, four minor. Uh, with a, with a. Major seven on top. Da, 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 da. Oh no, sorry, with a nine on top. Yeah. Let's hear. I looked at you same as before. What had changed I do not know. But the thought of you Oh no, it's just a, it's just the third on top. Minor third on top. So yeah, it's a four minor chord. Played in secret. And here's a five chord, but with a the minor five chord, but with the bass, the low note being um being the seven of the original key. That's fascinating. Duh, on the bottom, while doing a da 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 da, beautiful that way. No, but the thought of you were played in secret. It hurt me, but I asked for more. Falling down your rabbit hole, I kept on biting back what I was feeling. I love that with the shimmery chords in the background, the, the track on the right channel there. I presume that's the track, and that she's actually fingering, finger, like playing the single note parts on the guitar live. It sounds like it to me. I could be wrong. But it's very shimmery for the track there that she played and it's beautiful here we go just in on one close my eyes and you except the vocal is just before i close i close my eyes closes on one 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 two three four i close my eyes so it's on the end of one if you're going to count it that fast that's crazy that she can sing so beautifully while well, there's metronomic drum stuff going on, you know? I mean, I know the singing is in rhythm, but it's so beautiful and expressive. Kind of crazy skills here. I close my eyes and, you are there. and the drum part is not 
what you expect. Let's talk about the bass fill first. Let's listen to the, the bass part here. That's a beautiful bass line. Um, da, 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 da. Sliding up to the octave. They do so much sliding up to the octave in this song. Danny and Ally throughout this song. And sliding not just up to like the seventh and doing a nice shift like Ally just did. They do like, let's go up. Uh, uh, that's freaking hard to do. And they do it over and over again. Uh, it's a masochistic song to write to perform live. Very, very difficult song to perform live. <laughs> like, very. Anyway, okay, here, I need to hear that bass line again. I'm down your rabbit hole. I kept on biting back what I was this. feeling. <laughs> I closed my eyes and you are there. Innocently unaware. Stop me, stop me. Tell me, tell me. Break my heart. Okay, so the drum part. She's singing. Dun, 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 dun. Right? Is that what she's singing? But beautiful, oh man. How does she sing so rhythmically and yet stretches the time when she's singing without stretching the time when you're playing? That last note, she the second time, she stretched the time before she changed to it. While she's playing, it's it's excellent musical drum playing with feel that fits with the musical feel uh, atmosphere wise of what the singer is doing but doesn't fit rhythmically with what the singer is doing. They are counterintuitive to do at the same time by the same human being. Not to mention she's doing the drum part with four limbs. And she's singing and moving around and being visually expressive. How, how the hell do you do that? Getting back what I was feeling. I closed my eyes and you are there. Innocently unknowing. <laughs> and it's doom, 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 doom. Oh my gosh. Stop me, stop me. Tell doos, 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 doos. Oh my god, I didn't realize how hard, hard it is. Doom, 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 doom. Something like that. Oh my gosh. I can't even figure out the drum part, let alone the vocal at the same time. And her vocal tone is so pretty in this. It's, uh, she has, you know, she, we, if we're fans, we know what her voice sounds like, but I need to try to verbalize this somehow. Um, her voice is variable. It, it's adjustable depending on the mood. And it therefore is one of the reasons why she can be so expressive for ballads and yet pull off rock. Not just pulled off. Be amazing at raunchy rock. Um, she can, when she speaks as well, have a voice with an edge to it, right? In, in a very attractive way. Like, like I don't mean, I, I just mean like, it, it's a nice sounding way. That's what I mean, right? And um, she can also sing very angelically and very sweetly, as can her two sisters. Um, and she can sing with... a ton of power and just real grit like real grit like gravelly amazing grit way more than either of her sisters can even more than danny can 
And I think it's just part of her genetic makeup, right? It's the way she was made, that she can do that, because she can do that when she's talking as well, depending on the feel and the atmosphere and what she's putting into it. And right now, she's got fragility to her voice that is just, it's just sad, you know? It's beautiful, though, but it makes you feel empathy. It makes you feel sad for her because she is clearly expressing the sadness of her experience and what she's feeling in her words. It's not just the minor key. It's not just the melody. It's not just the tempo and the notes. And the lyrics, it's, it's more than that. It's the combination of everything together along with that simple, innocent fragility that she's got in her voice right now, which is something that I can't think of any other singer who can do quite as well as Paulina can. Love how Danny goes to strumming here. You can hear the stereo effect on her guitar, I suppose, but it's just a nice choice of sound that she's got going on. It's not super bright. Like the track guitar is quite bright. This one's got a humbucking sort of sound to it, but with the, or the tone control turned down a little bit, but with the, um, with the volume turned down, I think too as well. It's quite, quite interesting. I like it. And she hits the overdrive pedal. Oh, and I love the echo vocals in the track here. It's so nice. But that thing that Pau just did with the camera. Stop me, tell me, is it wrong? Is it wrong? Is it wrong? It kills me when you're gone. That way she looked down at the camera and then turned and looked back at the crowd. That's so Pau. And it's so combination of feelings i get when i saw that uh again it's attractive it's powerful and it's scary as hell <laughs> uh, yeah um i need to talk about the drum beat that she's doing here which brings me to the drum. so right now it's just tss, 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 left foot left foot up down up down up down which would just sound like t -t 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 -t. but when she lifts it up she also hits it so it's t -t 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 okay then she adds the kick drum to this and we get what i call the late beatles ringo star beat Kick drum, kick drum, kick drum, kick drum, kick drum. Being for the benefit of Mr. Kite from Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club, Club, Club Band, stuff like that. It's it's a Ringo Starr simplicity of excellent musical expression. You know, if you don't need more, or if you want to leave room for the stuff going on around you, then do that. And this is one hell of a still frame I'm going to have to grab here. <laughs> This is going to go on the thumbnail. Thought I had the one, but now I've got it. So, let's continue this with the Ringo Star beat going on. Oh, and you notice how just before that, the bass starts going, before the bass is going, doom. Or maybe it's going, doom, 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 doom. But now it's ding 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 ding. Let's listen to the bass. Because the guitar is the only thing doing any useful rhythm. Ding 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 ding. Right? But then the bass does its thing. Just sustaining on the bass. Yeah, so I said four eight. Overdrive on the guitar. And Danny is singing a lower octave below power. Uh, uh, uh. Danny can get way down there. Wow. 
Oh, that feel. Oh. using your feet too it's like the, the, the hands aren't fast enough alone so you got to throw in the feet probably double kick oh i don't know what it is but it's damn good probably like left right tom tom left right i mean left right foot foot left right foot foot or something but it's just outstanding it sounds so good they're out of the blue after that simplicity the shock of going into something that comparatively complex and i mean honestly that is relatively complex most drummers are not you know, we're not going to learn that in the first week. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, let's go. There's a guitar track going on with the bass to, to fill it out. It's very cool. I love it. It's actually is like kind of, kind of emotional here, right? So the way that it goes from the vocal to this like intense heavy instrumental break is is the exact contrast you want it's almost like you couldn't have pushed it over the top with more vocal stuff here the only way you can push it over the top is with this explosive guitar stuff going on and the big drum fill oh nice <laughs> And now Danny's singing really high part with her. <laughs> Way up there. Danny singing this really high double vocal while Pow sings lower. Wild. The versatility here in the range of these vocalists. Wow. She's keeping it quiet, Danny, with, the, with that high part so it blends well. Hi, Pow. Scaring me looking at me like that. <laughs> Wake, I cannot breathe under the Look at the laptop shaking, eh? She plays hard. She plays hard and heavy. The world around you cancels out the words that I can't say out loud. So oh, I didn't realize that uh, Ally was playing with a pick here. I didn't think she was on the bass. That's cool. Probably adds a little bit to the rhythm here because there is quite a rhythmical bass part going on here. Let's listen to that. No. I thought she was playing with, with her fingers earlier. Fear you'll see it. That's why we're getting that tone out of it. Doom, 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 doom. It's got a little more grind and grit to it. I like it. Sudden glances leave their way. I cannot breathe under the weight. If you look hard enough, I fear you'll see it. I like that. Face tone. The world around you cancels out the words that I can't say out loud. Stop me. Stop me. Oh man, the kick drum and the bass are working together so perfectly right now. I love that one of the things that takes a lot of self-control as a songwriter and performer is to leave spaces. Leave a rest where there's no sound on your instrument for a second or for a long period. That's what Alejandra is doing here in combination with where the kick drum works. Listen to the bass part. The world around you cancels out the words that I can't say out loud. I love how Pow and Danny switched in that section. So now Pow is singing the high octave and Danny's singing the low octave. What creative songwriting and arranging. Singing that high note, Pow. Lead vocal while doing. The 
Listen to this drum part while she's singing. Listen to this drum part alone. Forget the fact that she's singing. Listen to the drum part here. Listen to the kick drum, what she's doing with, with her right foot there. Yeah, with one foot because she's keeping her left foot for some reason close by the hi-hat even though she's not changing it she's doing that all one foot and stuff like that and it's expressive and musical with dynamics in it and she changes it up a little bit once in a while and on top of that while keeping perfect time and on top of that singing this part And expressing I can't seem to let you go that expression oh man how it's incredible how you do this stuff man And she has this, like, who am I thinking of? Freddie Mercury. She has a Freddie Mercury speed vibrato. I always, I always thought that Freddie Mercury had a very fast, amazing, intense, unique vibrato uh, thing that he had going on, but wider. How has the same tempo in her vibrato as Freddie Mercury? Holy crap. And the same intensity. And I mean, let's be honest, Freddie could play piano pretty damn well while he was singing. Or even rudimentary acoustic guitar. A couple of musical geniuses. Freddie Mercury. Pau Villarreal. Wow. Good company there. Anyway, let's listen, besides that amazing vocal, let's listen to what Danny does on the guitar here. Actually, listen to the guitar and the bass here. The stops again. Right here. First of all, I love it. Dum seven, flat seven, flat six, one. That was a great dude. And now we go da 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 da, or something like that, right? Da 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 um, that, um, or whatever it is, it's so cool with those stops in it. And here are the octaves. Holy crap. This is just Danny going nuts on her guitar, doing something extremely difficult. Like, extremely difficult. Oh, they're not octaves. Oh my god, she's going further than an octave. She's going octave, uh, down, octave, down, then up to the ninth, and then down to the minor seven, the ninth, to the minor seven, which is a tenth. She's sliding a tenth now. Now up to the minor tenth, down to the minor six. And now she's going, uh, uh, twelfth. She's going to twelfth. Oh, Danny. I, 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 I'm impressed, Danny. You've been impressing me more and more with your guitar playing because some of these things get lost. Until I looked at this now, and I've listened to this song for since it came out, or since I discovered the band. Wow. Well, it's about the same time. But I never noticed that she's going further than an octave on this stuff. And she turns off the, the heavy overdrive 
right at the exact right time there and start singing back up to pow this way cautiously keep choosing pain stop me stop me stop me is it wrong? now the first instrument that moves is the bass cool choosing pain stop me heavy metal chord on the guitar me, sustained stop me and the bass listen to the bass So the drums are going boom, chick, boom, chick, except not boom, chick. They're going boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick, right? It's pow. She's powing. But the bass, boom, 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 boom. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and It's just... The counter rhythms and complexities of their songwriting that are just so perfect that we just take it for granted like this is just nice music damn stop me stop and pow is singing here and she does a fall at the end of that oh i gotta listen more sorry this is the most emotional part of the song here with her singing the lyrics here i gotta re-hear this part i'm sorry guys i got it So sad. <laughs> Lyrics. Anyway, sorry about that, but that's just intense. To sing that and not fall apart while singing it, since, you know, she wrote the song, presumably it has some at least emotional connection to her, whether or not it's based on reality or not, or fiction. It's based on something from her imagination, and sometimes that can be just as strong as anything real. But for all I know, this is actually a legit situation in her life. Or was it the time of writing it? To sing this live would be challenging enough. To sing this live while playing and performing visually, not falling apart. Damn. I still feel this way. Cautiously keep choosing pain. Stop me. Stop me. Love she holds her arm. Look at Danny Stop on the guitar. Pete Townsend. Wrong? Total Pete Townsend with me. That was awesome. Is it Send it on with the bass on the leading note into the sixth, so it's on the minor seventh. That's just it rips my heart out to hear it that end that way. It's like the song is unresolved. So a metaphor for the le the meaning behind the song is unresolved. You know, the story is unresolved. To be continued. That's just wicked. Man oh man, and look at this lighting. And the film work, oh my gosh, outstanding, just outstanding. Wow, beautiful. Hear the ending again, okay?
so good. Wow. Yes, I know it's unresponsive. Thanks. Okay. Um, that, sorry, my computer's complaining. So good. Just incredible. Incredible, guys. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to leave that there. The, this is the first video I've released in a long time, so i got to edit this now and get to bed. But I hope this works, and if this does work, then hopefully I can continue to get some of these videos out faster and faster now because I've got to catch up a lot. Uh, and there's so much so much I need to talk to you about with all this stuff going on in the world of music, right? All right. If you like this video, like my video. Like, like. If you like it enough to uh, want to see more on the same topic or similar topics, please subscribe because I put a lot of heart and soul into this stuff and also a lot of music education from my past to appreciate it at this level and be able to talk tech with you guys, but also just fanboy out like this. Uh, so subscribe if you can, please. If you're interested. And comment. That's the most important thing always. And I know you guys do. And you've been very supportive while I've been kind of absent off and on for the last couple months, but please do comment. I miss you. I'm back as much as I can be. I mean, my life is busier at the moment, but that's a good thing, right? Um, but I am working in music, like, full-time right now. So it's a good problem to have. Uh, I will uh, post this up, and we'll see what happens next, all right? Like, as I said, subscribe, as I said, and comment, as I really mean. Rock and roll, guys. Rock on.